Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let us see the project title. The title of the project is Applying Network Coding to Peer-to-Peer -peer File Sharing. Let us see the abstract of the project. The abstract. In the networks, using the centralized storage, the file sharing is difficult to process multiple queries. For example, if uh, a website have only one server, it cannot handle the multiple queries at the same time. So only the network traffic occurs, so it cannot handle multiple queries at the same time. To address this problem, the proposed system uses a peer-to-peer -peer networks for the file sharing process. The peer-to-peer -peer network is the best way for the file sharing process. Here, the peer-to-peer -peer reference the collection of the peers in the network. So, each system connected in the network called a peer. Every system has been uploaded the files which it gets the downloading process. So, each server can connect with many clients. In the proposed scheme, it is to apply the network coding to peer-to-peer -peer file sharing which implies a peer-to-peer -peer network to distribute files resided in a web server or a file server. Here, the proposed scheme splits the file into multiple pieces. Then, it stores the simple pieces into many client server systems. The proposed scheme exploits a special type of network topology called combination network. So, the proposed system merges the various type of networks that has been connected to the client systems. In the client systems, it can be upload the files whenever it wants to download the files. So, this process is called, in, called the seeding process. Whenever a system downloads a file, it also automatically uploaded by the software. So the software is called peer-to-peer -peer network software. Our scheme encodes a file into multiple messages and divides peers into multiple groups with each group responsible for the relaying one of the messages. Here, each group is responsible for a single message. When a system of the client records a message, it will find which message has the group. So it will encode the message and correctly finds the corresponding file and then it outsources the file to the user. The encoding scheme is designed to satisfy the property that any subset of messages can be used to decode the original file as long as the size of the subset is sufficiently large. Here, the client system can only encode decode the process if and only if it has the correct encoder message. To meet this requirement, we first define a deterministic linear network coding scheme which satisfies the desired property. Then we connect peers into the same group to flip the corresponding message and connect peers into different groups to distribute the message for decoding. Let us see the data flow diagram of the project. Here first we should start it. The server system first chooses a file to upload in the server. So to do that it first chooses a file then splits the files into the pieces. The server system splits the files into the pieces according to the number of systems it has as the peers. Then whenever a user wants to download a file user should first give the request to the server. So the server responds the user for the available files which are going to download it. Then the server sends the response to the user as the list of files. The user receives the response then he chooses a file to download. Then the chosen file has been given as the request to the server. Now the server gets the peer systems details for the current file system. So here the peer details are collected. Then the server gives the response to the user. Here the user can receive the peers details that is which file piece has the peer and now the user can download it directly from the peer system. So in the peer to peer network it is the highlight. No centralized system is applied here. The system can communicate with any other system in the network. Finally, the user system downloads all the files from the peer systems. Then the user system combines all the files downloaded according to the number of files. Let us see the demo of the project. At first we should run the server application. Here the server first to choose the file which has been going to upload in the server system. So to do that first we click the box button and then we should click any one text. So we have chosen here file file. Then when we click open, it will open the file. So here the file contact is displayed. And when we click the 
split button it has been splitted into three so here we have the three sphere systems so only we have splitted it as three then when we click the next button it will be right to the next page so here we should upload these three pieces into three different systems to do that first we should click the browse button here the splitted files are shown here so we should first find father first system which has select that and we click the open button here the file has been shown here then we should check the system name then we should run the system one application here the file receiving part is shown then when we click the receive file button and then here we should give the upload when the file is sent to the sphere system we can get the success message when we click this button here the file has been received from the server system so the peer will save this and we can get the successfully stored message likewise all the two systems will save these peers when we click the refresh button the page has been reloaded so here we should click the second file and we should upload it in the second system likewise all the systems has been uploaded in the system 2 we should click the receive file button and next we should send the file to the system 2 we can get the success message and file has been in the system 2 we should click the save button the file has been successfully stored then we should run the third system in the server application we should choose the file for the system 3 choose the third file and we should click open and choose the system name so system name is here we should click the receive file and then we should upload it to the system when it has been uploaded we can get the success message here also we should give the save button and successfully stored the next process is the user downloading process then we should click the next button here the user download request should be received next we should run the user application here the user application is shown here the server application is shown we should click the receive request from the user to receive the request then we should give the download request server so here this download request will show the number of files to download here the lastly uploader file has been shown then these file names has to send to the user we should click the receive response button to get the response from the server we should send the file names when file file names are sent we can get the success message here the file names has been shown then we should click choose file to download here the files which we want to download should be chosen then we should give this request to the server to get receive the request from the user we should click the next button here we should click the receive file request here we should receive the file request then we should send the request to the server we can get the success message here the file name has been received from the user so we should click get the peer details here the peer details for the requested file has been shown these peer details has to be sent to the user to receive the response we should click the get names of the peers and here we have to click the send to user when the peers names has been sent we can get the success message then here the peers names are received then we should click the next button to download the files from the system so here the three peers for the requested file then we should download these files from these three systems so we should download from each system when we click the system one we can get the address of that system and the file piece from that system so here system one to receive the download request we should run the system one then we should click the next button we have seen the system one receive request we should click the receive request and we should click the send file request here <coughs> When the request is sent, we can get success message. Here the corresponding file is shown. Then we should send this to the user. For that, we should click the receive button in the user system and then send the file to the user. The file has been successfully sent to the user. Then we should 
receive all the files from likewise this method here all the files are downloaded from the PS systems then we should click the next button here when we click the show received files all the three files received from the system has been shown then we should match this file using the match received file button it has been successfully merged then when we click the show merged files the merged file has been shown here thank you